Brigadier General Don Courier, I'm from California, and I want to introduce you to another famous Californian, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, our, our governor. Please come down. Well, thank you very much, General Courier, for the nice introduction, and it is great to be back here again. Uh, I was here in 2003 visiting all, all of you here, and uh, before I left, I said, I'll be back. <laughs> and uh, the Terminator always keeps his promise. <laughs> but I was here, and uh, I had a terrific time uh, eating uh, with the men and women that are serving us so well, working out with them, chatting with them, signing autographs, shaking hands and all of those kind of things, and having a few stogies also, which, uh, which by the way, I brought. I brought a bunch of cigars uh, for you, so we all can smoke here a little bit also. Uh, but anyway, I just, I wanted to come back here. I had a uh, trip uh, that was um, organized to go to Israel and to have a conference on the environment and on the uh, security of the Middle East and various different other issues they were talking about. And uh, then I said to myself, well, it's obvious when you're that close to Iraq, you go and visit your soldiers and your men and women, the brave men and women that are over there serving this great country. And so this is why... So when I was finished with my business in Israel, I had the day flew over here, and of course it was, it's not easy to get here, may I remind you. You have to go uh, to Jordan, and then you have to touch down, and then you have to take off again, and you have to go to Kuwait, and then you come over here. But it is all interesting, and it's fun, and now I'm so excited to be here today with all of you, because I tell you why I wanted to come here is because you have done such an extraordinary job. And I know I get a lot of letters. And I hear a lot from people come back from their tour, uh, and uh, how tough it is to be over here, how tough it is for you, how dangerous it is, and how exhausting it is, and what an impact this has psychologically on all of you, especially to those that come over here on one tour, then you go back, and then you come back on a second tour, and then you go back again, and you come back on a third tour, and there's some people that are even here on, on their fourth tour. And I know how difficult it is each time when you do that and what devastating effect it has also many times on our families, on your families when you go back. And the children, you know, they grow up very quickly and all of this. Uh, but I just want to let you know that how much we in the United States appreciate the work that you're doing. Now, I know that you're thinking many times, why am I here? What am I doing? I mean, you're not making the kind of progress sometimes that you wish that they would make here. But don't ever get discouraged, because there's no one that I know that doesn't sometimes ask themselves that question, why am I doing this? Is it worth it? Now, I have been a world champion in bodybuilding 13 times, and I, and I ask myself many times on that way up, why am I doing this five, six, seven hours of training every day? Why am I on this strict diet? Why am I running every day? Why am I on this 500 pounds and bench press? This is almost crushing my chest. I, yes, I tell you, I ask myself the same question all the time. But you know something? On the end, you got to fight through it, you got to fight through it, and you got to inspire each other. Inspire each other because you're not here for nothing. You're here for a specific reason. 